What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here. And today we're taking a look at one of my old time favorite sets from some of the old school Star Wars sets from episode two. We're taking a look at the Tusken Raider encounter that set 7113. It had 93 pieces, three minifigs, retailed for only 10 US, and it came out in 2002. Now nowadays this set's going for 50 new, or 21 used, and I have so much nostalgia for this. I remember going to the store with my sister when episode two was like about to come out, and we picked up this set along with the Jedi Duel set, and we were just thrilled. And those were both such great sets. But anyways, enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll actually take a look at the Moisture Farm Evaporator. And I have to say, I really think that LEGO did a good job on this. I mean, it's not the most complicated structure, however, I think it's really good. And I'm surprised they never included any of these in the new UCS Most Icely Cantina. So very nice looking, it really captures the look. What's cool about it too, is you can actually open her up to reveal a very nice looking little printed control panel. And I actually think it's somewhat rare, like I don't recall really seeing that piece anywhere. What's interesting too is you can kind of lift this. I never really understood what the purpose was for that. I mean, so what, now I can't stick the evaporator on? I don't know. But all in all, nice looking little moisture farm evaporator. Let's actually now take a look at Anakin's speeder. And here we have Anakin Speeder. So let's just give you guys a 360 view. And I have to say, for almost being 20 years old, they really did a super accurate job at this. Like, they would be hard pressed to do a better job on Anakin Speeder nowadays. Like, at the size it's at, even with the pieces we have nowadays, it's hard to beat. Another thing that's cool is Wine Red was actually a new color back in 2002. And I think it perfectly represents, you know, the way the color that Anakin's speeder is supposed to be. All in all, just very nice looking speeder bike. There isn't too many features with their play functions. The only thing that you can kind of do is you can open this flap and uh, close it. It's supposed to kind of represent the engine. Absolutely love this speeder bike. It's, it, you know, it may be my favorite speeder Legos ever made. Anyways, those are the actual, you know, units or, uh, the speeder bike and the moisture farm evaporator that are included in the set, the builds. Let's now take a look at the minifigs. And here they are. So flanking Anakin Skywalker, we have two Tusken Raiders, which I actually think were very good for their time. There's no leg printing or anything like that, but nice torso printing, nice face printing. Like you can obviously tell who they are. Then we have Anakin Skywalker in the middle, beautiful chrome looking lightsaber. Absolutely love it when Lego used to do that back in the day. I just think it looks so, so good. And what's interesting is Anakin doesn't have any back face printing, back torso printing. However, the Tusken Raiders do. So these Tusken Raiders are absolutely fantastic. They don't have back face printing, but they do have back torso printing. And I, I think that's a big win. I just feel that this set is very advanced for its time. Both the builds, I think, are almost up to modern day standards. And the minifigs, yeah, they're obviously a little simpler, but these Tusken Raiders are nothing to scoff at. And this Anakin's decent. I mean, I also love the fact that it kind of shows his braid. So they tried their best to be accurate. They even gave him a custom, not custom mold, but this color, this sandy orange color was actually new. They didn't really do that for 2002. So they were really trying their best to kind of represent everything correctly. They could have just threw blonde hair or brown hair on him. They actually uh, used a more accurate kind of color tone to his hair because his hair is kind of, it's not blonde, it's not brown, it's kind of like dirty blonde if that makes sense. Anyways, great looking figs. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, this set's fantastic. I mean, I think the moisture evaporator is really good like i mean i think that looks really accurate i think anakin's 
speeder looks really accurate. And keep in mind, this was back in 2002. 2002, I think, was one of the years that LEGO Star Wars really started to up their game and started to make a lot more accurate looking vehicles. Like, I mean, think of the Republic gunship. Not much has deviated from that. The ATTE, even though, yeah, it, it, apparently it is pretty fragile. However, like, it still looks good. And this set follows that same theme. I mean, everything looks really good. The Tusken Raiders even look pretty good in minifig minifigure form without a molded, you know, head. And Anakin, yeah, Anakin's decent. Again, he has that awesome chrome looking lightsaber. I mean, I just, I think this set's great, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this one. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they can maybe improve on it, uh, if you possibly own it. I just think all in all, it's a really solid small set. And I'd really love it if they made a remake of this set but Anakin slaughtering Tusken Raiders may not be completely up Lego's alley. I was actually very surprised Lego went ahead and made this one. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future old, new comparisons, reviews that we do on this channel when it comes to Star Wars. We do basically one every Tuesday and I love Star Wars. I really enjoy doing them. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you again, but thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.